Hey everybody, it's Kathy Jodry. I have a tutorial for you on taking your opt-in box that is on your blog and adding it to your Facebook page. So what I'm going to do is take a portion of this, basically this top part with the image and the text here and also the bottom part that has the uh, information box for people to fill out and the submit button and uh, the other stuff I'm not going to add. It doesn't have, there is enough room for it. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your Facebook account and click on application settings. Okay, as you can see I have the HTML profile box here because I've already done this but I'm going to just for the sake of those who don't have it, if it doesn't show just do a search for it right here in the search bar. And once you get into it, you're going to click on this link here that says Customize HTML Profile Box. Okay, I had to re reboot um, my Firefox, and it's behaving much better now, so this is good. So, okay, a, it has brought up uh, the HTML Profile Box editor, and what I'm going to do is to go into the back office of my blog and find the area where I have my opt-in. So I know what happens to be the first thing in my sidebar. So I'm going to copy this whole line of code. So it doesn't really matter whether you did the code or if somebody else did it for you, but just copy the whole thing. And you're going to paste it into this profile box. Okay, now you're going to have to do a few things here depending on what you have. Uh, for me, I have no interest in keeping this movie here. You won't either. So if you have a movie, just delete this whole area where from where, where it starts a table row to where it ends a table row. Okay, I also am going to add some spaces here just to break this up a little bit so it will be easier to navigate around here. So every place you see this LI line item, just add a space or two. Here's another one. So you're probably going to have one for the email field and, and one for the name field, as I do. And then, um, let's see, you can just break this up here because that's other parts of the code. Okay, um, that will probably take care of it. So the first thing that you need to realize is that in Facebook the table, the width of your widget over on the left is 180. So in my case my, my opt-in box was 260. So we're going to need to change that every place where it says 260. I'm going to change to 180. So I have it there. I have it here. I'm also going to have to change this image, which I've done, but I'll, sh I'll just walk you through it. Okay, here I have 260. I'm going to change it to 180. And here, 180. I think that does it. So as I said, the image itself that I had on my blog was too big. So what I did was I went into the image and I resized it and I made it 180. And then I uploaded it. Um, and basically I took out I took out some of the stuff. I just added, I kept it so it has the claim your free gift and the text below and resized it. So uh, if you don't know how to do that, you'll want to get somebody to do that for you. But it's pretty basic if you have any kind of image editing editing software. So copy that, and I'm going to replace the image that's in this code with this image because it's the right size. So the next thing we're going to have to do is change the size of the boxes. Um, for the input. So we're going to change 
from 181 to 150 for the um, IDs. So there's the first one. That's the uh, the name field, and for the email field, here's the second one. Now we're also going to need to change the ID boxes to, in my case, it's from 120 to 110. So here you see it says 120. I'm just going to change that to 110. And here it's 110. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, sounds complicated, but with these steps hopefully you will get through it pretty easily, is change the padding size. Um, basically this line of code here gives the padding for the form. And what you're going to do is make it so that there, so that it stays over it starts right on the left hand side and I'm going to change uh, change actually two of the numbers here so if you're not familiar with how the padding works basically it it goes in clockwise rotation from the top so the 20 is from the top to um, to the start of the form and then 13 is the right margin 34 is the bottom and 7 is the left margin so I want the left margin to be 0 and I also don't want 34 in this um, in this other margin, so I'm going to change that to 20, so there won't be so much space between the elements. Okay, and one other thing we need to do is to change the margin right here from 10 to zero. So that's the margin for the whole form. And hopefully, with any luck, that is all we need to do, and it will work perfectly. So let's check it out, update it. And I'm going to go to my Facebook page. And a little disclaimer here, people. <laughs> I am not a coder. I'm just a person who knows a little bit of HTML enough to be dangerous. So uh, I'm a little bit kludgy in the way I do things, but I get them done. So as you can see, it's here. And it's I know it's working because I've done this before I actually did the video. And it works. So uh, I hope that this has been of help to you. I think if you kind of go through what you have, even if you don't understand it too well, and just make the changes that I did, um, you know, use the numbers that I used, it should hopefully work for you. So good luck, and if there's anything I can help you with, just feel free to contact me through my blog at kathyjodry.com. And be sure to join my Facebook page and uh, and use my opt-in. <laughs> and we will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.